welcome welcome to our global itech solution gets playwright channel on lecture one or zero zero so this is going to be very beginning uh, which is from the scratch let's think about you don't know anything about the playwright so we'll be starting uh, installing the all the required pre-required tools and technologies then we'll start it writing code so without talking let's get started so i put them together over here as a list as a pre-requirement before you start writing the code using playwrights apis so in order to using the playwrights we need the we need to install node.js in our machine install vs code as an editor to write the code install java for the earlier reporting because we'll be using the earlier report dashboard then we'll be creating a folder on the desk desktop windows machine or mac machine then we'll be opening opening up the vs code which is a visual studio code for editor to write the code then we'll drag that folder into the vs code then we'll start installing our playwright api for the test automation so what is playwright let's get into their website and let's see what they are saying so if you navigate to their website at a glance the playwrights enables reliable end-to-end -end testing for modern web, pages, web apps so the playwright basically support all the browsers which is currently we have chromium edge firefox and safari which is a web kits so we are able to automate on all of the across the web, web, web uh, websites um, across the browsers any events which is we had challenge earlier with the cypress selenium and all other automation suite now all the challenges it's overcomes with the playwrights so playwrights overcomes with it now if you scroll down it says any browser any platform so that's when any browser you can automate any platform like uh, Windows machine, Mac OS, Linux, anything you can on the on the top of it you can automate it. And also cross language like TypeScript, JavaScript, Python, C Sharp, Java, and more like as a test mobile apps. Right? There is no flicky test. So no trade-off, no limits. It's just, you know, like automates everything, frames, iframes, DOM files, shadow, right? Full isolation as a first executions compared to any other tools like powerful tollings. Code gen, you can record and run and, and you know, like playbacks. The, and also playwrights, there is the inspector itself. You can do the inspect, inspect on the DOM file and get the locators like CSS, XPath, you know, like get ID, get name. There is a trace viewers as well as you can trace it in on the console. So this is all about the playwright. Um, honestly, there is nothing to say about playwrights. It is top of everything. Playwrights just brings all the latest technologies and stack in the entire automation worlds. If you have, if you uh, you know like that, if you are not even started yet with the playwright, I highly suggest and encourage you to. And just you know like research on the playwright and start automating using the playwrights i think i'm talking too much let's get started into the work so it says the install node.js the first one let's install the node.js let's go to the google chrome uh, it could be windows machine it could be mac so i'm using mac but it's it's going to be remaining same the process let's say install node.js Node.js, hit enter on the Google, download Node.js. Click on download Node.js. You can download based on the Windows, or if you are using Windows, you'll be installing Windows. If you are using Mac, you'll be using the Mac. So just click on it, it will download. And after the download, you can just double click on it, it will install for you. So this is about the Node.js, install BS code. Now go to Google again, 
Google search and type BS code install. The first link, as you see, the download Visual Studio Code Mac Linux Windows. You can click on it, the same thing again. You can um, download based on the Windows, uh, based on the platform you are using, Windows, Macs. So download it and double click on it. It will open for you. So then the third one, which is install Java. So Java, you, you will be needing for only for the purpose of earlier reporting you have to install, download and install Java. So Java means you have to have the JDK in your machine and set up the environment. So let's say uh, download JDK. It could be 11, it, it could be any, any version, that's fine. Download JDK, Java runtime environment, Java development kit, and uh, with the Java development key, JDK will come the GRE, uh, which is a Java runtime environment. Now click on the Java download oracles, then this is your JDK basically. So based on the machine, the platform uh, you are using it, you will be installing any one of them. Let's say you are using Mac, you will be installing the MSI or installer, any one of them. If you are using the Windows, you can install the installer, 64 installer or MSI installer. Once you download it, you have to double click on it in order to install. So once it is being installed, the Java, then you have to set up your environment variable on your Windows machine if you are using the Windows machine. So there is a many different, um, you know, like the YouTube's or the, you know, like in Google search, you can find how to set up how to set up environment variable environment variable for java in windows so if you are using the windows it's just you know like giving you the step by step how to using it it's, it's very basic and, and straightforward. You can just use that as a step by step, right? It says that you have to open up the uh, environment variable, device program file, Java, then copy that path of the JDK, then going back to your settings, right? And the systems and, and the advanced system settings, and then environment variable, then you can add your Add it existing path, edit it, and add them over here. The path of the JDK. <coughs> Excuse me. Then on the console, you can validate Java hyphen hyphen version. It should be giving you something like that as the output. So this is pretty much it. Same thing will be for for the Mac. You'll be uh, configuring your uh, best profile uh, with the with the Java environment variable. Let's get back to create a folder on the desktop. Once you have all three of them installed, then let's go ahead and create a folder on the desktop. Okay. Let's go ahead and create it. I'm going to make it smaller. We'll be creating a folder in our desktop as it is mentioning. So we'll be go inside it and we'll be creating a folder called Playwright Playwright JavaScript Suite Automation Suite Automation Suite. So this is the folder that we created. Then the second one, open the Visual Studio Code, which is we just installed. We'll be open up. This is our Visual Studio Code the first time. Look like this. We don't have anything on the Visual Studio Code. Create a new file, right? It says the create a new file, but we'll be following the steps. Drag that folder on the Visual Studio Code. So let's drag it, drag the folder. We'll just drag the folder on the Visual Studio Code 
then install playwright api for test automation okay so after dragging it we have to trust it the folder then we'll be going back and install the playwright so this is our <coughs> playwright uh, folder which is we created on the desktop so now let's go back to our playwright website let's see what it says in order to install you have to click on the docs then click on install so there you go so npm installing playwright npm install playwright so copy that code and come back to the console so we can or we can open up the terminal on the visual studio code itself you see it on the top it's called a terminal so we can open up the terminal and close the welcome okay so our terminal is open here terminal is open we'll just copy and paste the code that's all i need now we'll be installing so we'll be using the javascript so inside the test github action workflow falls yes then install playwright browser yes there you go so everything is being installed and it's giving me the some commands to executing the test how do we execute the test on the left hand side you see the node modules under the node modules it is all the because this is a node.js javascript based so node modules came from the node package manager so when we ran our script npm in it so that means it is initializing the folder playwright automation suite and also it is installing all the playwright dependency inside the node module so everything's all the playwright core and playwright dependencies ui events api events everything installed and adding as a dependency using the package.json file you see the playwright test so this is the dependency we are adding but all relevant events apis everything's under the under the node modules and also it is giving us some example test under the test folder so how do we run it we can run this test using these commands we can just copy these commands and we'll be adding as a readme.md file on this product project readme dot md file and let's add this as for instruction let's add it over here let's copy copy it again copy and paste it over here let's copy it and paste there you go we we'll just copy and paste all of them. So now we'll be following the instruction. It says the npx playwright test. Let's copy this and paste it over here in the terminal and in order to running our test. Oops, it is not working, right? npm npx playwright test. What it says over here, no matching version found. Let's paste it again. There you go, it is running. So many mistakes before. So npx running, npx playwright test, there is a headless mode, all the tests are executing it. Now if you expand that test on the example.specs, basically all the test over here is located. Right. So there is a two test over here and there is a other test also inside test example here there is total like six tests six or seven or eight eight tests so these six tests are passed as you see over here also you can generate a report by copy and pasting so this is an html report it comes by default with the playwright installation how cool it is you can click on it you can see what it does 